In this video, I will show you how to fix Steam initialization failed. So let's jump straight into it. So if you are trying to open up Steam or play games on Steam and you'll get in an error message which looks like this, the first thing you're going to want to do if you have Steam running is make sure you have fully closed down Steam. So what you want to do is completely quit out of Steam, come down to the bottom right hand corner and click on this arrow to show hidden icons. Then you should see the Steam icon. So what you want to do now is right click onto here and click onto exit Steam. Now once Steam has fully shut down, what you're going to want to do next from your desktop is come down to the bottom left hand corner to your search box and just go ahead and type Steam into the search box. You should now see the Steam app come in up underneath Best Match. So what you want to do is right click onto the app and then click onto Open File Location. What that's going to do is open up the Steam folder like this. And again, what you want to do is locate Steam just here, right click and then again click onto Open File Location. Now it's going to take you directly into the Steam folder. And from here, you want to find the Steam application. So that's the main.exe file. So that's this one here. And what you want to do is right click and on this time you want to click on to properties. So what it's going to do is bring up a window like this. And from here, you're going to want to come up to the top. You can see these different tabs and you want to click on to compatibility. What you need to do next is on the compatibility mode section, you want to tick this box to run this program in compatibility mode. You want to leave that selected to Windows 8. If it's selected to something else, just click onto this drop down box and select Windows 8. What you then need to do is tick the box to run this program as an administrator, then go ahead and click apply and OK to apply the changes. After doing this, all you need to do is simply go ahead and restart your PC. And once you restart your PC and load up Steam, that should fix the problem and stop this error message from coming up. So that is how to fix Steam initialization failed. With that being said, I hope this tutorial did help you out today. And if this did help you out, I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like, and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a minute. Thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial, and I will see you in the next video.